Good morning, everyone. It's Jared coming to you once again live, this time from my dining room table, because this is my home office, and I'm at work. Got my piano over to the right of me, and my guitar over to the left, and my David Summer original painting right behind me, and a whole bunch of other stuff, but that's confidential. I've been thinking a lot this week, partly because I'm at work, Partly because of just everything that's going on. This week of change and adjustment, learning new skills and relearning old skills in new ways. It's a lot to take in. And it was really put into perspective for me by uh, something that Dr. Vivek Murthy, the 19th Surgeon General to the United States, said uh, when he was promoting his new book that I doubt he fully realized was going to be as pertinent as it truly is in these current times together the healing power of human connection in a sometimes lonely world. He was talking to a late night host through Zoom, because if there's anything that we're all together in, uh, Zoom is definitely one of them. And he was focusing on how we can feel connected when we're forbidden to connect in a lot of the traditional ways that we are used to doing. He talked about using technology responsibly, making sure that you're really focused on one thing at a time to make sure you're focusing on the connection that you're making in that moment and getting the most out of it that you can. All good stuff, but not what stuck out to me. The important point he made, I think, was where to start. That's often the hardest part, and the place that he recommends starting is service to others. Because, he says, when we are isolated, it's easy to feel like we should be isolated. That no one's around because they don't want to be around. No one is calling, reaching out, because they don't care. So why should we bother reaching out? But when we serve others, we realize in their gratitude or whatever else it is that we get from making that connection, that we do deserve connection. We feel ready to connect in new ways and willing to work to make it happen. And that's what we're doing here, right? We record a reflection about what we're thinking, doing, learning, whatever. We send in pictures of how life is going right now or the things that we miss for our slideshow. We do our essential jobs, whether we have the luxury of staying at home or if we have to put ourselves at risk to do so. We reach out by text, phone call, writing a letter, attending a Zoom meeting. I got a group of my coworkers together uh, through Zoom also. Uh, to sing happy birthday to some of our other co-workers whose birthdays are happening right now, even one today. We learned a lot of things, one of which being that the delays th delay through Zoom is a little bit longer than it seems, and that makes singing together a little difficult. But in that way, we also learned a new way to laugh and have fun in the middle of all of this. We served ourselves, and we served our coworkers by reminding them that we care, that we may not be able to be physically with them, but they are not alone. We're together with them. So I want to continue to serve in any way that I can, recording reflections, playing songs, attending whatever meetings I can, whatever. And I want to start holding some of the meetings of my own kind of like that some kind of space where we can spend some time together and create something. Kind of like what Halcyon is doing with the art and spirituality class, but fully music-based. I don't have all the details ironed out just yet, but I'll get there soon. So here's to us. Everyone who gave a reflection today, sent in photos, attended a meeting or class here, there, and everywhere, called a friend, family member, a neighbor, a stranger, did their essential job, cared for the nature and the landscape around them, and spared any number of positive thoughts for any other living being. All of us in service, together. We're going to do great things. Have a great day.